we want to consider the following balanced equation. So I'll let you have a look at that right there. And in the first 10 seconds of the reaction, it says the concentration of the I minus dropped from one molarity to 0.868 molarity. And we need to predict that change of the H2O2 and the I3 minus in that interval. Now, if you recall, I've written down how to find the rate based on a balanced equation. So that's over here in the pink on the right hand side. So since this is basically a plug and chug, I want you to try to find that rate, pause the video and come back and see if you got it correct. So hopefully this is what you got for the rate. Now remember the number on the bottom, that's your coefficient in front up here in the balanced equation. And then everything on the left hand side gets a negative in front of it and everything on the right hand side of the arrow gets a positive sign. So what in the world am I gonna do with that? Well, it tells me that in the first 10 seconds of the reaction, the concentration of I minus, so I need to go find where I had I minus, which is this one right here. So that concentration, so I'm gonna rewrite it. What did it tell me about it? Well, it says that it dropped. Well, if it dropped, that means that I'm gonna leave the fraction in front, so minus one over three times, and it went from 1, 2, so the final one is 0 0.868 minus 1.000. And what is the time? Well, the time is 10.0 seconds. So 10.0, so that's seconds, that's a big M. So I'm going to do this calculation on my calculator. So when I did this on the calculator, I got 4.40 times 10 to the minus three. Remember we said we had molarity on top and seconds on the bottom. Okay, that's great, but that's not what it wanted me to predict, right? I've got to do H2O2 and I3 minus. Well, how in the world am I gonna do that? Well, if we know all of these are equal, now I know what this term right here is. Maybe I should put that in pink so we kind of stress that. So this term right here, I can set it equal to any of the other concentrations now that I know the answer. So why don't you try to find H2O2 and I3 minus and then come back and check your answer. So hopefully this is kind of the thought process that you had. So what I did is I took the answer I had up here, I put it on the left hand side, I said it's equal to, and then I went and found the H2O2, which is the first one here on the left, on the right hand side. So I notice I've got a negative on the top. So to get this term all by itself, I need to divide both sides by negative. And so here's my final answer. Now for the I3 negative, same thing. I took what I was, what I found, which is the 4.40 times 10 to the minus three. I set it equal to the factor up here, which is positive. I went ahead and left the one over one just to show you that it's the same as what's above. This one, there's nothing to divide. So that's going to be my final answer.